So Dragon Ball Super episode number 70 is officially in the books and it was a fun episode, I'm going to say that. I think that these episodes where, you know, you get to see these characters in this type of light where they're just chilling and stuff like that are honestly some of the better episodes of the show. Some people don't give them the chance because, you know, it's not like crazy action, wall-to-wall action, but I do think that these episodes are a lot of the more fun episodes because you have stuff like the Mr. Satan and Beavis stuff and, you know, this episode. And there's a lot of, like, this quote-unquote filler that's actually really enjoyable. So I will say that I did have a lot of fun watching this episode basically the premise of this episode is Shampa wants Earth's food I don't know what happened with his Earth and its food I mean they did say that the civilization and stuff like that initially back in the Universe 6 tournament arc um, you know that that stuff was kind of messed up but Beerus did wish it back I don't know if they didn't reestablish themselves or whatever the case is maybe I missed something personally correct me down below in the comments if you you know got any insight that I didn't personally um, but basically Shampa wants Earth's food um, same premise as the Universal Tournament actually technically but um what he does is he challenges beerus as a way uh to a, a game of baseball as a way to cleverly have a feast on the planet he doesn't want the planet in and of itself he just wants a feast basically so champa's doing you know his normal typical fat ass stuff <laughs> champa's actually a really fun character he's one of my favorite characters of the series uh he, he is every moment with him and i do think that his voice actor is freaking phenomenal like his japanese voice actor is hilarious he portrays champa so freaking great uh, i can't wait to see how they do it in like the english dub but champa's voice actor is phenomenal uh beerus's voice actor is really well done too um i think they probably are two of the better ones on the show um Another thing is, too, I love the interaction between those two. And it was fun seeing Gohan here, not really particularly because he's my favorite character, but because this is a you know a scenario where Gohan is basically chilling with the Universe 6 characters. And they even talk about it in the episode in that you know Piccolo was like, hey, you don't know because you weren't at the tournament, but that robot guy can't fly. You know, they're talking about Magetta. So that's cool. Like They're kind of filling him in. I kind of wished that Gohan would have had like a interaction with Kabe. Like, I really thought that would have been cool. Like, oh, you're a Saiyan too. You know, because they're both, you know, younger Saiyans. So or around the same age, I, I assume around the same age. Um, I thought it would have been pretty cool, but that didn't happen, unfortunately. You know, Go, uh, what's his name? Gohan was the uh, the catcher when, um, what's his name? Cabo was basically pitching. Excuse me. I'm actually multitasking right now. I'm more or less recording while online playing a game right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, but... You know, I, I did enjoy that. I did kind of wish that there was more interactions. It was also fun seeing Botamo there. And Dragon Ball Super's quote-unquote filler is interesting. If you look at it, they always kind of have filler that kind of makes it a little easier to live without characters for a little bit of time or kind of ties into more or less the main continuity, which is why I don't like saying necessarily filler with the show because a lot of the stuff kind of ties in and there's not really a source material for Dragon Ball Super. The manga isn't the source material. So, like, you know, it's kind of weird. But what I mean by that is, you know, with the Potafu stuff, which a lot of people kind of hate, and for good reason, of course, the Potafu stuff basically had, um, you know, a copy of Vegeta, like a... Vegeta Black, if you will, like Vegeta's evil version, if you will. And then you turn into Goku Black, you know, for the next ensuing arc. And then afterwards, freaking, um, what happens is we go into the, uh, we go into this arc now, this little filler arc, and we have basically more or less a, um, a lot of the characters that were prominent in Hit's arc, but we're going to move right into Hit's arc after this with uh, Goku and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun, man. It is a lot of fun. I don't really have much else to say. I do think that the episode was really well put together, and I do think that the episode, you know, did a lot of things right. It was a really fun episode. Like seeing Vegeta and Goku, you know, beam struggle or baseball struggle, you know, uh, it was awesome. And it was also a cool idea to have Goten and Trunks on opposite teams for once. You know, they're always like freaking rolling together. So that was a cool idea as well. So I really did love this episode. I really have many criticisms of it, unfortunately. <laughs> Generally, I do have criticisms, but let me know your thoughts on the episode. If you guys enjoyed it or, you know, you didn't have, or if you had a, a fun time about it or like a favorite part of the episode, do let me know down below in the comments. I am highly interested to hear it uh, otherwise i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and uh yeah subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll catch you guys later peace i did also want to quickly point out that they did my boy yamsha dirty they did him hella dirty with that pose again in this episode they did yamsha supremely dirty with that 
pose. They even played a joke on it. That was some cold shit. They even noticed Goku's like, this seems eerily familiar. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. D-free out. Peace.